something really lame right now and read you guys. I wrote a journal post, the reasons why I'm leaving Toronto. What's up and welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm picking up my vlog camera and in a way I'm picking up vlogging again because I feel like I haven't done this since pretty much I've been back from Bali I've been trying to make the vlogs a little bit more just themed off of things because I felt like my isolation has been super similar and I've been doing a lot of the same things every day and also like honestly I feel like I just kind of enjoyed having a bit more off time and just doing things without kind of capturing him but I'm totally in the mood to vlog again and things are starting to feel, I don't know if it's the mixture of just the fact that weather is getting nicer for summer. Um, it's also really rude that I'm chewing gum right now, but more of that slowly but surely, things have been opening up in Toronto, but doing the daily thing again. It's Friday, May 22nd. My heart rate is super high because I just came in from the parking lot. I just went downstairs and cleaned out my Jeep from the winter, which was a beast of a task. I still had like my snowboard and everything in there. So, and stuff from Christmas. It's a shame, guys, seriously. To be honest, I moved a lot of it into the trunk and then brought my snowboard and stuff up mainly because this is such a nice day it's like 22 degrees in Toronto right now because I've been training for a half marathon so I went for a run this morning so it's like I don't want to go for like a walk or anything but I just want to get out there so I figured it could be the first day that I take the top or half the top off my Jeep grab Bentley um, a bunch of new music dropped today on Spotify, like Code of the Friend just dropped a new album, The 1975 just dropped a new album. I'm pretty sure like Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga dropped a song. Probably bop to that for a second and just go for a drive. Like the first day 2020 top off the Jeep, you know? So that's currently the plan. And this baby is now pretty much fully charged, so. face but I just ran my longest run ever so it's Saturday and lately they've been shutting down Lakeshore Boulevard in Toronto which is pretty much this this highway that goes right along the uh, Great Lake 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 Ontario and every Saturday for the last like three weeks has been super nice and I've been training for a virtual half marathon so today was actually my longest run that I've ever done like ever I've always really loved running, but I always kind of just kept it short to five kilometers. And honestly, I feel like part of that has to do with that whole, you know, doer mindset where I would be like, okay, I need to like work out every day by running and doing yoga and meditating. And I was trying to fit so many things into a day that I would just do five kilometers and the whole time I'd be running like my fastest, right? I was always trying to like beat my highest score for like how fast I could run a five. So when lockdown happened and eating fresh air and wanting to challenge myself and just wanting to like 
use my workouts to work towards something, I decided to start this virtual half marathon. I actually got the idea from Rosanna. I'll leave her Instagram down below, but she posted about a virtual um, half marathon. So if you guys want to do one, I can link that Instagram for the whole half marathon. And today I ran 11 kilometers. So it took me about 55 minutes. There's been so much good new music that I just... I was just cruising. <sighs> anyway, I'm really hot and really sweaty and I definitely need to shower and re rehydrate. I don't think there's like any water left in my body. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out body is exhausted. A little update. So I was reading all of the predictions like Australia and Hawaii. I got Bali a few times, British Columbia, back to my hometown, um, LA. Like where was I gonna move? Where was it gonna be? Half the fun was like reading all of the guesses but there was actually nobody that guessed right. I'm actually gonna be moving to the countryside of Ottawa. When I was in Bali, the day that I found out that I had to come back, I was talking to my sister who was trying to help me decide whether or not I should come home. She sent me a photo, you're gonna be an aunt. And I flipped, guys. I started bawling, first of all, because I was so happy. It was so happy for my sister and my brother-in-law and also just so happy to hear some good news in the middle of all of that stuff going on. But then it also just seemed like so many things clicked into place. Wanting a slower lifestyle, but also wanting to be by my sister, to watch her take on that journey, be in my niece or nephew's life, being able to buy a house, loving traveling so much, and knowing that I felt so free out there, and, and I really wanted to get back out there, but it costs so much to live in Toronto. Just so many things clicked into place, included that I would be buying a country house out in Ottawa. Come sit. Not to mention, it would be better for Bentley. He would have so much more room to just, he's gonna have tons of room actually to protect and explore. And there's so many trails and parks there in terms of even just things to do. I love the city so much, but I'm ready for being able to go for more drives without traffic, being able to have like my own yard space and outdoor space that I can, you know, cater to my own needs and a house that I can cater to my own needs and just to set down roots somewhere. To spoil my niece or nephew being there for my sister and chill in our backyards for the rest of eternity. So that's actually where I'm moving and why I'm moving. I love this city. Like I grew up in this city. My early 20s was this city and I moved here and I kind of didn't really have a plan feeling like I was ready to find myself and then leaving Toronto and feeling so sure and so certain of the kind of life that I want is really all I could have asked for. This city will always be my home in a way. It's exciting. I have a whole summer in Toronto in front of me and then a move. I'm gonna do something really lame right now and read you guys. I wrote a journal post. The reasons why I'm leaving Toronto. The big ones are to be closer to Kira and Casey, that I wanna travel and I, the cost of living in Toronto versus the cost of living out in the country that I had felt like I had forgotten to watch or how to watch the clouds, which I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been like living at the park. The next few reasons why I wrote down were to in make an investment and like root myself down somewhere in a property and to look out my window and see nature rather than garbage. I want more nature and a quiet home. Bentley to have the space to explore and be off his leash to be closer to family and friends because it leads into my bigger dream to eventually own homes in all different places in the world. I'm very sensitive to energy, so I pick up on things. So if I walk by a stranger who at their tense or angry, I, I feel that. And I think that that's something that has always kind of triggered a bit of anxiety for me in Toronto, that I love this city and I love exploring it and I have no problem going out and doing so, but just going places that are so congested, not even being able to like spend a moment in nature 
without having 10 people. It'll be nice to have more space to breathe, roads to drive, and just places to explore. So that's kind of the trajectory that I have for my life right now and the plan. And I think the coolest thing about vlogging and doing weekly vlogs this year is that the whole process is literally gonna be documented. I can officially say that I am not only moving out to the country, but I'm gonna be an aunt. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Cleaning out my Jeep with me, going for a drive, training for the marathon. And aside from that, I'll see you guys all in next week's vlog. Bye guys.